Okay, for our next plotting example, we're going to look at what we call subplots. Sometimes when you have multiple things that you want to plot, you don't want to put them in a single figure on top of each other. You actually want to create a single figure that has multiple plotting axes in it. And the way that you do that in MATLAB is with a command called subplot, and that's right here. So as before, we're going to start off with just an empty figure. And the signals we're dealing with here are the ones that we defined a while ago the sinusoid and the cosine, which we're calling signals X and signal Y. And what we're going to do here is we're going to plot signal X and plot signal Y, and we're going to put them both in one figure, but we're going to put them on different axes. And like I said, the way you do that is with the subplot command in MATLAB. So this command right here, the way we interpret this, is subplot says, don't plot anything now, but the next time I plot, plot to the something that has two rows and one column and put it in the first figure. So actually, we go ahead and step across that and we'll look at our figure. So you can see right now, we've taken this figure and we've split it up into this row and this row, two rows, and just one column. And we're getting ready to put things into the first figure. Okay? So this next plot command that I'm going to issue is going to end up putting that plot right here. So if I do that, just like that. All these subsequent commands, the grid and setting the font size and the limits and the titles and the white labels, you can issue those just like we did before. It's just that now the Y label only goes right here on this Y axis and the title just goes here on this subplot figures title. The, so this is uh, signal X is the one we've been plotting in several examples now. For the next plot, I'm going to go ahead and plot to 2, 1, 2. So again, two rows, one column, second figure. So after I hit that command, this has now been initialized to kind of empty, and any subsequent plot commands are going to be plotted to this axis right here. So let's go ahead and plot signal Y there in red, turn grid on and set all our limits appropriately, and then we can also label things time and Y label. So you can see I actually put an independent Y label here from here, but I chose to only put one X label on. Sometimes when I deal with plots like this and they share a common label, I just label the bottom one just to keep things from getting uh, too cluttered up. Okay, so that's an example of using subplots. For this first example, we put things into two rows of one column. In this next example, I'm going to do basically the exact same thing. I'm going to close this. I'm just going to make it into a different grid. So you can notice the difference here. We used to do 2, 1, 1, now we're doing 2, 2. So I'm going to create a set of axes. There's going to be two rows and two columns. So we have our blank figure. After I do this, now I have this axis set up right here, and I'm going to end up making a 2 by 2 grid. Two rows, row and row, and two columns, column, column. So this first figure is going to go right here. I'll go ahead and just plot X like I've been doing there. And then 2, 2, 2 means two rows, two columns, put it in the second thing. So the second thing is right here. And I'll go ahead and plot Y like we've been doing. So Y gets filled in there. Still two rows, two columns, plot it in the third thing. The third thing is right here. So you can see we're kind of counting 1, 2, 3, 4 for these different figures. I'll go ahead and replot Y there. So kind of boring, we're plotting the same thing. I just plot it in a different color as well. And then finally, in the fourth spot right here, we will go ahead and replot X again, and there we are. Okay. So the subplot command is very useful, and if you want to have a single figure, but with multiple and independent axes that you can plot different things in, subplot command is how you do it.